What's up guys, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we're going to be drawing Jake Sully from Avatar. Landscape page, use a pencil eraser, hit pause if we go too fast. We're going to start close up on his eyes. So we go center point, about here, come up over to the right. We'll just go diagonally first. And then you want to bring it across. <coughs> so we can make it a little bit more, All right? And then the bottom eyelid, down around. You're aiming for this sort of lemon sort of shape here. Right, like that. We can add, we can thicken up this maybe and add some sort of eyelashes just coming across here. Okay. And then his tear duct, so it's quite dark inside. It actually lines up with his eye. So his eye, his iris, should I say here, curves around up to there. Right, and then his pupil, quite big in the middle. Maybe just colored in black. like an extra line in there and we'll give some iris lines just on the eye there because they're quite big right so he's got an eyelid line as well which joins his nose right so it goes up and across down there and then some dots and dashes just for his bottom eyelashes just coming down here like so. And then like a light line just for bags underneath his eyes. Like that. So his eyes are quite far apart, right? So this eye will fit in here and a little bit more. So it's like an eye and a half distance. So one eye to there and then like half an eye will bring you to where the next eye is, okay? So this will go up and across. And you'll just do sort of the same sort of shape again, this sort of lemon. Right, this kind of spike on the end, and then it comes down around. Up into the front. So it looks like he's kind of looking off to the left hand side, but I'm going to try and get him to look forward maybe. Make this sort of eyelashes. And I'll do the same type of thing again. So we'll go from here. Down around the bottom and then up to the corner, right up around. Like so, real big eyes. Right, and then his pupil. Just a big circle. Like so. Right, so in the picture I was drawn from, he's like looking off to the right, but I think we'll have him look forward in this. And then like another tear duct line. Dots and dashes and stuff on his eyes. And then his like eyelid line here. Across his eye just there. And then some Lines like so, underneath the eye, bags underneath his eye and stuff. Okay, so his eyebrows then, right? He doesn't have crazy big eyebrows, but we'll just we'll add what we can see. All right, just draw what you can see. Just starting about there, just in line with the, the nose sort of area. 
and go back up. I like that, we'll make them get a little bit hairy. Right down like so. Do the same thing sort of on the other side. shape and if you want texture lines can be added to them right so then his nose right joins his eyelid line right so it kind of comes down this way right down like so Right, and there's like an extra sort of line coming down, like in here and here. And something maybe going up the middle. Right, so some light lines like that, right? And then the nose comes around, like so, and down to a point in the middle. Back up around to there and then we have a little pale section on top right. like so right so then his mouth pretty flat just sort of coming across here Little dip down in the middle. Sort of frown lines and stuff as well up here. I forgot them. Right, and then top lip, so it's drawn in, right? So we got like. Yeah, and his, his mouth lines up sort of with the inside of his eye there as well right, and then in the middle we've got this little line for the top lip there and you can draw the rest in as well like so and maybe just like a little line just here for the bottom lip maybe like some hatching on his chin <clears throat> and there, and then he's got like some cheek lines or something going that way, like that, right? And then his chin is here, like so. Right, so you'll notice now his the proportions are kind of big because he got this, this big nose, right? So I would say the bottom of his nose from the bottom of his eye is about the same as bottom of the nose to the chin. So here to here is about the same as here to like the bottom of his eye, see that? So there and there about the same. So that's halfway between here and here, okay? And nose to the bottom lip is halfway between bottom lip and chin. So this and this is the same as this and this. Okay, it's just this space that's like bigger than human, right? So this and this are about the same. All right, so then you can go for his jaw. So we'll just go up this side, like that. Okay, I'm giving quite a strong jaw, right? So it goes up this way, like so. Okay, and he's got a cheekbone that comes in, right? So it's like an overlapping line. So this cheekbone comes in here.
and then side of his head kind of runs up this way towards his hairline so it curves around here we can actually see a line coming out for his temple just around the side of his eyes here and then some like skin lines that come across here Okay, getting there. Right, so his hairline, just this V here. So your forehead is usually the same size as your nose, right? So I would say, normally it's here to here, but his nose is really big. So I'd say like nose to eyes is about, is about the same as eyes to top of the forehead. So here to here, let's say eye level, from eye level to the top of the forehead. That'll give you your distance, right? And then we just add those hair spikes like so just coming across his forehead <laughs> and then he has like hair that sort of hangs down here okay right so ears and hair Right, so, see so coming down here, right, we've got this braids and stuff that hang down sort of his head. There, and one on this side as well. Well, it's kind of hair, and then it becomes braid. So this braid... You're just doing this crisscross sort of stuff. Pull way down. And it comes out. that and then his ears come out from here right so we've got like an ear pointy coming out there and then this comes down like so and then a line in there does he have an earlobe not really like hair or something like so and then the other ear like that and then the top of his head so just kind of bumps around right so we got like Lots of these levels. And textures all going up. Okay, you can do as much of this kind of texture as you like, really. Okay. Right, so then what we can see of his neck, right? So his neck comes down this way. He's got a collar on, but we'll just, and his, like, his body is like leaning a strange way, so his neck his shoulder is trapezius sort of goes that way and then there's a big strap here that comes across his body and we'll give this an edge 
right? And then like neck muscle goes towards its collarbone, really elongated sort of muscle shapes and stuff, right? Patching there. And then his other, so more hair and shoulder. So we'll do like more hair sort of stuff here. <clears throat> there. And then his other shoulder comes out this way. So his body's kind of turned away, right? He's got this bracelet on his arm. And then you can see his chest, or the top of his chest here. His tricep just going that way. So then top of his chest on this side will go sort of that way. And then a bit more hair, just kind of sticking down this way. And then finish his shoulder here. So you see his body's kind of turned away now. So this side of his body is about half the size of this, right? So one, two, three. So this is like the center line for his chest here. And then you have the side of his chest muscle there. So this goes across here once, twice, okay? Right, and then if you want to add more jewelry onto him, you can. And like texture on his skin sometimes, you know, these dots and stuff. But they're normally done with white. There are some dark ones, so maybe I'll add some of those. Thickening up some of the edge lines can help. Right, but I think that'll do. That's how to draw Jake Sully from Avatar. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.